Hello and welcome to Be Open here. We are at Auto Club and we are in a new season here on iRacing. Uh, I guess technically not for Be Open though, because of course this one follows the real schedule. And uh, that season started in Daytona, believe it or not. But we uh, we're going we're going to uh, go ahead and do a race here if I could speak, speak first and then drive. And uh, we've actually got uh, some setups qualifying and race setups from OSR. So um, I mentioned in a recent video, a uh, previous video, that uh, unfortunately those had gone to paid setups, which, um, understandable, they uh, they explain the reason why it uh, ended up that way. And uh, if you're going to put your time into making setups and hosting a website and stuff, that stuff's expensive. Time is, ex uh, time is money, so... Uh, I, I kind of understand, even if it's a bummer for freeloaders like me. <laughs> but, um, you know, having found that out and uh, chatting about it, uh, Jeff, the guy who is OSR, uh, Old School Racing Forums is the website, he said, uh, hey, thank you for being understanding about it. I'll let you go ahead and uh, use the setups for a little bit. And that was very kind of him. He definitely didn't have to do that. And so... Uh, to be clear, there's uh, this is not like a sponsor thing or anything. He was just very kind and let me uh, use him for a uh, the setups for a little bit longer, since uh, I've gotten so used to using the OSR setups. Um, so that was that was really cool of him to do, and uh, I actually recorded a video explaining this already, but I lost that video. It was a really good C Open race, which unfortunately got lost, but. Um, yeah, really cool thing to do, but uh, not sponsored or anything. I'm, uh, green, green, green. I'm gonna give okay. honest feedback as I always do on these uh, setups, and usually a qualifying setup is pretty good, pretty darn good. I've had some good success with it, so uh, hopefully that'll be the case here as well. So I found that I uh, like the high line in one and two, and then cut it down low in three and four really bumpy here at Auto Club. Cut down low. We got some shade over here, 3 and 4, which gives us a little more grip. And that didn't feel so bad. Let's see if we can get anything more out of it on lap 2. Let's see if we can be more aggressive now that... Uh, now that we don't have to worry about hitting the wall and not getting a lap in at all. The water temp is Heck of a run through one and two there. We got another tenth out of it, which is awesome. Let's hope the engine doesn't blow before we can actually get this lap counted. A little tight here, three and four. Might have overdriven it, or maybe the tires are straining. So we're going to lose a little bit on the line, but it looks like this will be just a bit faster. So 39.3, I'll take that. I think I could have done better. I was, um, where was I in practice? I had it down to the twos, I remember, in practice. Though the track did feel a little bit different. But uh, we've got a really strong field here today. I'm the 12 car in a 5,400k strength of field. And I think I saw, like, five different guys with 7,000 I rating or higher. So, hugely competitive. I'm just going to be trying to see what I can do out here today. Keep it clean and hopefully get ourselves a nice finish. Practice pit in there. So yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to get out of the way. Um, it's kind of a bummer. I, I won't be like sharing my setups anymore if uh, if I have a really good run. And then, you know, in the past I would usually say like, "Hey, this is a, I just use a free setup, so I'll, I'll share that." You know, not that I'm going to finish well in this race, but, uh, I mean, I'll try. <laughs> but, uh, also got to be careful not to show it anymore because this is paid stuff now. So I'm going to be careful not to show it. We'll put the race setup in, and I already changed my steering ratio and all that good stuff to how I like it. So. Right now, oh, wow. Well, maybe that wasn't as good as lap of I, as I thought. Man, that's crazy. Your engine These guys are okay. 38.8. This is a hugely competitive field. 
I thought I didn't do so bad there. But I guess I probably could have pushed a little harder. Maybe taking it closer to the wall in one and two. Hmm. But um, I'm going to have to get used to adjusting my own setups moving forward, since I won't have these uh, OSR setups forever. I've uh, been given a uh, an extension to my time to use them, but uh, i got to be smart and know that they're not going to be there forever. So I made myself a cheat sheet of like the in-car uh, adjustments and the pit stop adjustments, rather. So I've got, uh, you know, like what the which way to turn the left rear spring and which way to the turn the right rear spring for my pit stop adjustments if I need to make the car tighter or looser, which is good. That's a good first step, I think, for me. And, uh, of course, I'll have uh, the, the setups I've had in the past from OSR to start with, and that's a, a good base if I need to uh, make adjustments and stuff. So that's very nice to have. I'll uh, be looking to learn how to adjust setups and all that good stuff for the future. So 65 laps here. Seems like a small number, but I guess it is a two mile track, so those are some long laps. 40 laps estimated on fuel. So we will have to make a stop here, of course, and be open. Look at that strike the field, that's crazy. So we're starting 20th. My lap time did not hold up as well as I was hoping it would, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised I am the 12 car. So we're going to have to be smart. I'm going to try to protect my right front, which I think could definitely take a beating if I'm not careful. Run the lower line and try to stay out of trouble as well. I think uh, a couple of these guys that started behind me that did not qualify, they could end up trying to move past us real quick. So I'll have to be careful if they're being aggressive. And we'll see what we can do. 12th place would be fantastic as the number 12. But even that might be a, a little bit aggressive on my uh, outlook. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. What I should have done also, as well is I didn't adjust my brake bias, so that could have helped, but that's all right. We're not using all that much brake anyway. It's mostly big lift-offs. Maybe later in, uh, in a run I'll probably use a little bit of brake. I imagine as this thing gets tighter. You have Turn that on in case anyone's to trying to tell right. us something Blue, important. Have a good run. The track temp is like pass the right. Is 70 Fahrenheit. <laughs> I guess I didn't need the voice jet for that. Follow car number zero. Three sets Nine. of tires. Fourteen Close, sleeping. Someone in front of us may be sleeping. We're going now though. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. Pit road is closed right now. Certainly taking our time. It is one to green, guys. I'd like to get to pace speed and be able to test out what gear I need to start in. Looking like it'll probably be a second gear start. Now that we're settling in, we're moving pretty quick for pace speed here at Auto Club in the 70 mile an hour range. We're looking to be patient anyway, so don't need to be in that much of a hurry. About to go green, stay focused. Got the four behind us, I'm really hoping he doesn't take us three wide as a guy who chose not to qualify but I do kind of expect it. I think restart zones are back, so... Oh, okay. We're kind of going. You're in the middle. Three wide. Yep, we're three wide. Still there. Still hold. Right side, two wide. You're in the middle. Three okay. wide. Car outside, two wide. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear Next all around. Us. Three wide. 
Nice. Alright, here's the part where it goes green the whole rest of the way and we lose the pack. Get 4x from that. So shout out to the 23, I think it said on the top. It shows you who ran into you now, but I, I might have run into him after the initial contact. But uh, I was definitely not... Uh, I definitely gave him room. I think he probably got loose on that outside lane and just ran into me. So... If you've seen my SRX race, you know we've had a bad start to the season. Unfortunately. Really love sliding the tires on lap one. When I'm trying to be good to the tires. Definitely what I wanted to do there. People taking us three wide after not qualifying. Pretty frustrating. Putting us into dangerous situations where guys that can't hold their line don't hold their line. Of course it could have been me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't hold my end of the bargain. There goes another guy looking like me down there. We'll have a little bit of draft now, I guess, for as much as that matters. I have to assume they're going to wreck if they're going to keep doing this. Starting to get spread out though, which is making me worried. I guess they're pretty close together up front, which is probably where they're going to be most aggressive anyway. We may get the caution we need. Wonder if the same guy got the 26 as that got me. I have no idea. I don't know what happened. At least we didn't uh, get caught by somebody lower on the track, get major damage. Speaking of, I'll check my damage here in a second. I had to save it, which ironically, if I didn't save it and I spun out, I, we would have gotten a caution and I'd probably be in better shape, but that is what it is. We've got damage on the back end. Damage on the back end, that's cool. There might have been someone that uh, hit my left rear quarter panel whenever I got doored from the right side, and that might be where the damage is in the back. I think that's what happened. Seeing some more puffs of smoke, but still green as of right now. said anything about either incident. This is going to be a major bummer if this goes green to the end after that happened to me. Understandable when it's SRX. There are no cautions in that series. But, just my luck, I get taken out on lap one. Or maybe it was me, again. I guess I'd better, I'd better say that until I see the replay. I really think I gave room up top, but... I haven't seen it yet. That head's getting out of the wall, maybe, unless that was prediction code. The gap ahead is now 
Well, this is a, a bit of a snooze fest, since we've been taken out of the actual pack. Sure we'll be back soon enough, once they wreck each other. Texas. X. I'm guessing that's thanks. That's getting loose. It's interesting. If we get the green flag pit stops, I mean we have to go long. I think that's kind of the position we've been put into. I didn't get it to there, did I make it turning Been a rough start to the season so far, though. At least Arca went okay. That was uh, forty point nine. Okay, wow! Don't self spin. Jeez, that got really loose down there. I have to migrate up the track. That surprised me how much that had the oversteer. Kind of wider entry and then kind of take that lane up. That'll probably work. Just uh, hanging around dead last. You know how it, how it goes. someone saying there's some heavy wind at the track apparently I didn't look myself can I see that from in car I don't know if I can't oh the weather the new weather thing yeah look at that 15 16 mile an hour wind hey look at that the new weather tab coming in handy do you think it'll rain <laughs> I do hope to get uh, some rain racing in I did a little bit of practice during week 13 but that was just me focusing, not really looking to make a video, just trying to learn what it was like. And it was fun. It was really cool. I'll be looking and seeing what uh, what things might have some rain. Maybe run into some out there on the roadside. 26 has got some company up in front of us now. They had a moment about a lap or two ago. Front of us is. Oh, caution though, which. Get to it, guys, come on. Getting, uh, b getting bored back here. Don't make me regret uh, being able to save the car. This is why Carson Hosevar crashes on purpose. <laughs> Did you do that entering the pits or something in the truck series? I don't remember the exact circumstances, but you could see his hands on the wheel purposely spinning out to bring out a yellow. That was pretty... That was pretty interesting. To do that in real life. <laughs> this one's kind of high up the track. Maybe I'll try running the high line now. What's, uh, what's going on up here? Anything cool? Those look to be faster. I think once we get the run off here, it will be quicker. So maybe we, we run up top for a little bit. Guess why not? wonder how that damage on the back end is affecting us at all. Or if it is at all, I mean... You know, a track like this where you're going 190, it's if there's going to be any arrow effect, it would be here, I guess. All right, Colton, that's good 
but I didn't get to do any actual laps, so... Alright, there's the yellow we needed. We won't even get the spot, because he's going now. Alright. Thirteen, I'm pretty impressed. You have not fun yet. You cool and tires. Almost every corner. Yeah, that's right. Come we'll on. Fix dirt. that damage the best we can. Man, not even a big wreck. Taking guys out that we can finish ahead of. Honestly, the car feels like it's handling fine. I'm just not in the draft, and I think if I were up in that pack, maybe I could tell a little better what the car needs, but right now it's, I just need to be with everybody else in that draft group and not doored out of the corner. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. We might be able to make it on fuel. We'll definitely take a look at that. I know we can make it about 40 laps. These are long laps, though, too, if we want to save fuel. So I don't know about that. But we'll see what it says on the calculator once we get down there. Imagine everybody should be coming in. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. It's taking us time. We'll need to stop again. Pit boxing. Five, three, two, one. Got late on the call there. Right here. Spotter. Big pit All stalls here. Twenty three point nine. We were ninety four eighty eight. Look at that. Wow. On the right rear. I was not expecting to see that. So we'll fix this damage. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. I didn't realize it was that bad. That sucks. So. We can't make it through the first lap without getting hit. We'll see what happens. Oh, was that on me? <sighs> That's hard to say. I mean, he's pretty far off the wall. I use this line as my uh, judgment. I mean, before I say anything, what's your... He definitely could have been closer oil? to the wall. But yeah, it gets me, and then this is where we get our damage. Well, that's dumb. Alright, we've got it fixed. Uh, I just expected you to be near the wall, so... Not bad. I guess I should have given more more room. He wasn't really uh, going all the way to the wall. But maybe the lesson I should learn from that is... I guess I don't need to be that close. Felt like I had people below me, so I, I couldn't give that much room, but I don't know. I don't know what to take away from that. One left to green. Line up Three, on the outside. Nine, Nine, five, five. Right, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Not gonna come back and pit, and but I'm gonna save fuel as we get caught up. Never know. Like f six laps short, maybe. That's close. That damage looked much worse than I thought it did. But we did get it fixed, so hopefully it's not going to hurt us too bad. As you go green, stay focused. The pace car is in.
Wing flag, wing flag. 40 and happening. They're like five wide, which I'm sure is going to turn out just fine. Still inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still inside. Four wide. Clear inside. Inside. You're up top. Three wide. Right side. Two Stays wide. by because I expect inside. them to wreck. Some smoke. Guy is way too close to me. Just get around me. Jesus Christ. Trying to save fuel. Might be my wind condition here. LOL. Funny joke. Clear inside. Wow, he's overdriving. He's drifting it through the corner. And are they wrecking? Yes, they are. Sorry if I speed you. Try to stay in the draft while we save fuel. The leader has just done a 39.6. That's the new fastest lap for Amula, 39.5. V25. Still see puffs of smoke coming out up there. They're wrecking. Almost. Almost. Oh boy. Looking sketchy up there. 3.9 gallons. That feels savable, but I wasn't going all that hard early, so I don't know how accurate that is going to be. They're still trying to wreck, so it's not like it's going to go green to the end anyway. Working on that fuel, we'll see what happens. What's happening there? Car inside. Mine's gonna go around us. Still there, inside. Keep high car is clear inside. I'm not sure what the 23 is doing, because yeah, he's hanging out behind me. I don't know if he's got damage or what, but he's taking the high line, which just tells me he's not saving fuel. Because why would you run the high line if you're trying to save fuel? I don't know. I'm not sure what he's up to. Yeah, 17. I, I was just, I had so much momentum going into the corner, so that was my bad. Seven gallons. I think we can. We might be able to save this fuel. Although we're going to be too far back to actually make it matter. That one was at 41.0. At least it gives me something to do. Six. Okay, Colton, pit window is open. My racing says about thirty eight laps. And last lap was at forty one point two.
My reasoning says we should be able to do it just fine. 37. Guess the 23 is using our draft, maybe, so he can make it on fuel. Is that the, his plan? I don't know. Still weird that he would take the uh, high line. Maybe he just needs to use my draft to keep up because he has damage. I have no idea. Still have no idea what he's up to. I believe. I believe we can do it. I don't so much believe they can go green to the end, but <laughs> we're going to find out. I don't think I was keeping up anyway. I didn't feel very fast. I don't know if it's the damage or what, but early in this run I wasn't going all that soft and uh, they were kind of pulling away, so no idea. Okay, Colton, the next car is 35 to go and we've got, according to iRacing, 34 laps of fuel, so we're one lap short. Want help. Let's see if I can reply to that. Don't hit the wall. <laughs> we had to do a little bit at a time here. Yeah, let's text and drive while we're also already being bad at driving. Seems like a good idea. Go ahead, nine. I'm not gonna fight you. I assume he means bump drafting by want help, and uh, I don't think that's going to make enough of a difference. Appreciate the offer, though. Nice of him to ask before slamming into, back, into the back of me a bunch. Kind of just hoping that they don't get too far ahead. Oh, well, <laughs> so much for all that. Is it a big one? It's looking like they're slowing down like it's a big one. Well, that eight's definitely out. Oh, that sucks. I would have made it on fuel. No, okay, the other guy was going for fuel as well, Queen. There's another guy with a blown engine up there. All right. I don't understand what was yeah. the, like what was the intention. Catch up, twenty-one. Cock. Coming, Garrett. Sorry. All right, they're uh, got broken cars up ahead. I wish people would understand side drive doesn't work. Just people. Get around the broken guys. I wasn't even side draft. I was in the middle of three wide and we kept coming up and I hope they. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. I definitely helped my line. Get to the 21. Yeah, I think we were good to the end. 
We were making enough progress. I moved up the path a whole bunch and we kept coming up. That would have been a fun one. <laughs> being in dead last the whole time and then being able to make it on fuel. If we're three wide, we're all going to be on a... Uh, what do you think? What do I mean? Equal That's measures, though. I'm sure everyone's taking Better tires again. The bottom, then all of us die. Yeah, might as well just let you guys go right on by after I just Stop finish passing. One. Well, I guess you're finishing ahead of all of us now, right? The leader, Navarro. I don't know. I guess you can't fix it, but we will take fuel we'll in case uh, we get green white checkers and all that good stuff. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. So you're not putting too much in, in there. Five, three, two, one. Right here. All right, ninety-seven, ninety-five. We were going really easy on those tires. All right, back into the fire. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Try not to you only have one time drive through the pits too file, much. Single file, pass up, 21, sharp. One. So we're good to the end. Didn't really want to fill it up either because we are on the right rear. So we really don't need more rotation. Pass up, nine, sharp. So we'll finish ahead of some more guys that, that uh, we probably wouldn't have finished ahead of. Now we're really gonna try though. I don't know what that's gonna how that's gonna work out for us. Still a lot of race left to go, but if we're gonna be on the right rear, maybe we can push a little harder than I have been. It's our open. How much is the car gonna be willing to do that? I don't know. Because that left rear looked pretty bad on me. Got a bruised booty cheek. One to go. Next time by. You're on the outside. outside. Hey, look, it's the guy that we ran into. I don't blame him for uh, the contact we had. That seemed pretty unfortunate. Like I could have given him more room. He could have been closer to the wall. Nothing ergery just happened there. I think that was just an unfortunate circumstance. Coming out of the corner three wide. Feels like one of the reasons you shouldn't be three wide on lap one and turn two, but maybe that's just me. Do I try to get some track position here and hope for some yellows? I think that might be my only way to potentially get a better finish. Just uh, kill the tires a little bit, hopefully catch a good, a well-timed caution. I don't know. I, am I even going to be capable of doing that? I don't know, but I don't think hanging out back here saving tires is going to work. So let's uh, be exciting, I guess. Or try to be. I'm still not going to take a three wide on the start if they don't launch as well as me, but... That's just because I prefer not to do that. Going green. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. The car inside doing a good job. Keep it nice and close. Still there. Okay. Still there. Hold your line. Oh Jesus, they're spinning. This guy's spinning. That guy nearly wrecked me again. Oh Jesus. Turn 2's been not a good place to be. Particularly around Johnny Benson over there with his white, <laughs> his white race car with the red number. was not ideal. 
It'll help us get a better finish. Is that some more people taken out? I think there was a, quite a few people caught up in that one. Some people missed it. Chop Muppets losing it ahead on first corner. This guy gets it. <laughs> I guess I'm technically using a paid setup right now, so I guess I'm kind of a shop muppet. How to get to Sesame Street. Sure. Why this guy's speeding up around us? What are we doing? The leader, Navarro, is pitting. Somebody pit? Is that what the question marks are for? Saw someone on pit road in front of us, so I wouldn't think they would have any damage. Pit road is closed right now. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Two. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to let him get uh, by us later, because I'm sure he's gonna be flying up. Hey, we're in 12th place. Just surviving to the end, kind of working for us so far. I still expect to fall back, but I don't know. Maybe some of these guys got damage now. Not quite sure what's going to happen. Very lucky there was room on the outside of the sliding guy because obviously he was sliding down the track. I don't think I was going to be able to turn and go down. So I saw him sliding and then I just I had to sneak around the outside. Who knows how long that gap was going to be open. Very lucky to be able to get around that. So we'll do it again. Didn't really have a chance to try to go fast We're that time. It's closed. If you're ever feeling bad, just remember, even in the 5,400 strength of fields, guys self-spin on the first turn of a restart. Happens to everybody once in a while. One left to green. Oh, okay. Well, he's not 12. Holy shnikes, that guy's about to run in the back of us. Pacing very aggressively for some reason. He's the one that came up and passed us for no reason. And he about ran in the back of me. Alright, 11th then. Don't know if this is better or worse for the restart. I can't believe I'm in 11th right now after how slow I've been. Getting damage on lap one. It's not gonna last. The guys behind us are almost definitely gonna pass. But it's funny that I've ended up this far forward. We'll have 25 to go. Can keep it green or will we wreck immediately again? Only time will tell. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Rest in peace. About to go green. Stay focused. Post car is off. Guess we can uh, just kind of watch for the green flag with the restart zones. That helps. Green, 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 green. green. Outside. Stay low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Keep low, you're on the bottom, three wide. Still there, still Pretty there. Wide, I guess. Hold your line. 
fuel hole. It's nearly spinning up there. Passed very quickly. Keep low. Still there. Space car. Clear outside if you want it. Yeah, I should be tightening this thing up if it's gonna be that loose. Guy right on my rear end. Getting the air off my spoiler. Yeah, we don't have much in the way of speed, Still that's there. for sure. Outside, clear. Hopefully we can take a better angle in the corner, though, that's for sure. Because we're pinching us down pretty good. And they've got another issue. We're fine. That looked a lot like me on lap one. Not on our outside or anything. P15, that's your best lap in the session. That is high line. The car inside. That's not good. Still there at the bottom. You're in the middle, three wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside. I feel like I lifted off there, I was going to get run into the back of. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Nowhere to go. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Only his way to the inside, I guess. Still there. Nighttime change. Disorienting. Still there. Clear up top. Car outside. Keep low. Clear outside if you want to. Clear outside. It's fine with me. Get some draft. At least we're having fun now. B14, not too bad at all. I'd be happy with that finish. Let's see if we got any more in the tank, though. Big run on this guy. Car inside. You just done a keep high. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. Still there at the bottom. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. A little bit of shade out here, give it some more grip, I like it. Two thirteen. Make a pass there. I got you, I got you, I got you. Guy's probably trying to save tire. Whereas I'm killing him probably. But I'll take it. A12. That was a 
Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. A little lower there, trying to get out of the arrow push if I could. He was a little slow up there. I didn't know where he was going to be on the outside either. That didn't work very well. I think I could have powered through that if uh, I had been clear, but having him like outside made me nervous and I had to lift off more than I wanted to. That's what I wanted to do. Three four much tighter it feels like. Watch out for him there. back there. Don't give us a late restart. You know that's going to be a mess. Yeah, flip. Oh, oh yeah, man, I'm what happened? Where'd he go? He hit the wall, I guess. I did not expect that. I guess I'm glad I wasn't behind him. Ooh, it's really tight up here. I don't know if it's my tires, arrow push, or both, but that did not feel great. Still, with the runoff, though, that might have been where we wanted to be. We're in 11th right now, and it looks like it's sticking, which is crazy to me. We were so slow before. This is way too strong of a field for me to be able to compete with a broken car. And a setup I paid nothing for. Though it is technically a paid setup. There's a caveat. <laughs> it's still the same good old OSR though. They look like they're trying to wreck up there. I don't know if we make it to the end of this race without another yellow. We got another set of tires, right? Yep. You know we'll be taking that if necessary. Well, it actually feels pretty darn good. Wait, obviously slowing down a bit but it doesn't feel overly tight or anything I'm having fun running up by the wall really stinks we're just outside of draft range I think up there otherwise we'd be getting a little more speed down the streets Oh no, oh no! Why all that plowed bad? Okay, not doing that again. 
Not doing that again. No, thank you. That felt giga terrible. This is advanced what are darkness. We doing? Advanced tightness. Come on, grip up. You got still. You still got some grip in it, tires. I believe. I got you, Philip. If we can hold on to eleventh, I would be very happy. Beat our car number. seeing more wrecks before the end of this thing. I feel a four-tire slide had taken me toward the wall. Less than thrilled about that, but not too bad. I'm at a seven to go. We're losing track of the guys ahead, but we're actually maintaining and maybe even gapping a little bit the guys behind us, so we're kind of on our own island right now. If they start racing each other real hard up ahead, though, we could end up catching. Oh, lane down actually feels pretty nice. That was actually kind of great. I think less people are running there, and maybe the track is cooler. There might be something there. Let me try that in three and four as well. Running one lane lower. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that green. Now ah, we lose it a little bit. On the straightaway, unfortunately. One and two it definitely worked, though. And it's at the very least pretty much even. But the second lane... Second lane's loose. <laughs> Second lane wants to kill you on exit. Alright. This is fun though, we're experimenting. It's kind of working. I love those dynamic track changes, man. I, I'm almost entirely certain that's why that lane is actually working a little better for us right now. So I don't see any reason other than track temp being cooler a lane down than for why it would actually be behaving this way. And that's really cool. It gives us a chance to move around on the track and maybe find a little bit of speed. I messed that corner up, so don't use that as an example, but I mean, you saw it. It was green. It means good. I wonder if that second lane would work in 3 and 4, because all day 3 and 4 has been tighter, and so maybe I won't get that loose feeling. We're side by side for uh, a top 10 up there. We're actually fighting for 9th. Me asking for a top 10 would just be greedy. I'm in 11th right now. Fighting pretty hard though, it's bringing them back to me. But we only got three to go at the line. Let's try this second lane. I don't know, a lot of people are running that second lane up in front of us, so maybe there's not so much going on down here. Still a little bit loose. Nah, not quite enough of a runoff to make that worth it. Actually at three to go. They're looking pretty single file up there, but I do see some moves being made. Oh, guy in the wall. 
ahead is now 1.2. I was watching him and it made me drive toward him. It's that classic thing they tell you when you're driving. Two left to go. Two to go. Wherever you look is where you're going to end up. I was watching him hit the wall and I ended up taking the high line. Two laps left. That brought him back pretty close to us, but we're coming to the white flag. I don't think we're going to have enough time, even if we are catching him. But what if I drive down here? What happens down here? That was actually pretty good. We we'll lose the runoff, but we'll have some better draft. Let's pull it away, though. White flag, so no White more flag. cautions. They wreck coming to the line. They will wreck coming to the line. Slow car down low. Go high. Good one. And we're just going to beat that guy too. Where did we finish? We finished okay, ninth. Good, Good lord. Flag. Flag. Did not Seriously, deserve that. Man? Are you nice shitting run. me? Solid work. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for the guys that got involved in that. But I'll take that finish. Alright, we will pull it over. Garrett, no reason, buddy. E9, we get a top 10 in this field. It is what it is. Wow, what were our tires? 75, 76. Hey, I did a I good job of balancing those. Right I think I approached I that like how I needed to. I'm actually very pleased with the me. setup. It runs loose, so if you want to push, you can, it'll be even. Not paid, but you know what? OSR got it this time. I think they did a great job for me to be damaged and be able to keep up like that. Well done. <laughs> I'll give them that. Alright. 20th to 9th. Just shut up. They're angry, so we're gonna shush. <laughs> we'll get a 4x because of our contact at the start. Again, I don't blame the guy I ran into. I think that was just an unfortunate racing incident based on being three wide. And uh, it was ever more unfortunate given that we uh, were on lap one. And uh, we'll see it here. Man, that was such a light tap too, and it just shot me off of him. Just a really bad time uh, as the car's unloading, I guess, out of the corner for it to do that. Then there they go. <laughs> this is where we were at in the race. Dead last watching the field drive away. Oops, I just clicked out of the screen. <laughs> and uh, to be able to come back for a top 10 with that, that's crazy. I know there's a lot of guys that got knocked out. And uh, we're going to see how that happened here soon, but... Dang, get off my screen. And 23 gets loose, a little bit of the wall. Everything works out. They went quite a while without a yellow, while I was struggling in the back. We'll see what eventually did bring out the, the yellow. Ooh, we ran hit right there. Ooh, okay, this was the yellow, I believe. That looked a lot like what happened to me. Yeah, the 16 was maybe getting loose. He looks pretty yawed out right there, and not as close to the wall. This is pretty much a carbon copy of what happened to me. So, hey, it happened to a guy that's 7,200 I rating. I guess I'm not that bad. But I think this guy could have been closer to the wall, maybe, and... Again, maybe the 5 could have given a little extra room. I don't know. He did look like he was drifting up pretty hard, but... I don't think anybody made any major mistakes there. Just, uh... Guy, they ran out of room. So the 13 is gonna get pinned into the wall. 
That was a sequence of events right there. So the 24 gets tight, it looks like. Maybe even got a tap from behind, and so he gets pushed up. And they're all pancaking each other. I think this didn't cause a yellow. Because he was down below the apron. And they are still arguing, I guess. Whoa. Some... Whoa. Wow. Yikes. Some blinking there. That looks like uh, his CPU, maybe, having trouble. Reminds me of uh, whenever I couldn't run Arc on my old computer because it would do that. Those fast little blinks. Didn't know what was happening. So I'm going to get the wall a little bit. 14 is plowing bad and not lifting either. He's going for it. Whoa, wow, the 11 chases that guy all the way up the track. And that did not work out too well. Let's see here, so they, they get technically three wide, like right here, but I don't think the 11 is going to get a call for that. And so the 11 probably doesn't know that the 7 can't go all the way to the outside wall. And so he's ready to take his place right here, but the 7 has nowhere to go. And so that's where like a real spotter would be helpful, because iRacing spotter isn't going to tell you three wide there, but that's effectively three wide. And so the 7 can't give him any more room, the 11 takes all the room that was able to be given and I think we've got a big wreck here because we have all these guys running the high line coming in we got a couple of guys just had nowhere to go unfortunately plowing right into it the three car a 7800 I rating guy getting taken out right there these are guys that were gonna finish ahead of me I can almost guarantee you the seven lots of good cars taken out right there Who's the 26 getting loose? I thought maybe he might have gotten loose from me, like being on his spoiler, but I really wasn't all that close. I don't. I think that was just cold tires, baby. Putting some wheel into it at the exit of the corner. I'm able to sneak around the outside, and then another big pile up here. He spins down into this huge pack of cars. 20 gets sent around, almost makes it through. The 22 does make it through. He did a good job of navigating that. Yeah, that sucks. Lots of guys caught into that one. Where's the guy that was uh, on our fuel saving strategy? I think he got caught into it as well. He's the 23 up here. They're wrecking down there, and I think some people maybe end up... Yeah, he gets taps. Not too bad, but that'll be a 4x, and he'll get a little bit of aero damage there, I bet. So not really what he wants. Nobody really wants any of that. 26. With his broken car. I think they might be done yeah, anything. Let me <laughs> turn that back on. 28, plowing bad, I, I experienced that. P2 up there, who won this race by the way? The 18, wow. Looks like he dominated too. These guys trying to keep up. Too much going on there, they're fighting for second place right here it looks like. Five with a big slider. Looks like they're having a fun race. At 50, we're getting some wall hits, it looks like. Here, they're three wide. Doesn't work. That could have easily been a yellow, but it looks like they probably held it together. 24 involved in another one. This 27 just needed to give more room. He got tight and plowed up into uh, to everybody there. 14's in the wall. This is what happened to him, because he we, we were racing him. I was wondering what happened. That's how we got by him. <laughs> All of a sudden, he disappeared. He ain't getting a wall a lot. 10 gonna get the wall themselves here. Still fighting for second, but it's a different guy attempting to go after the number one car. Ooh, wow, really holding them tight. Not really giving them much room up top there. 
causes them to get the wall. It's on the exit as well. Got more guys tapping the wall. Uh oh, that's a bad time to blink. 19 probably had no idea where that guy was. Two cars. Probably got damage, because he's an almost 8,000 I rating guy that's back there in 21st. There's no way he doesn't have damage. 17 doesn't quite turn into the corner. Wow, we got some bad sliders going on. This was the uh, final lap. So, this is a 9,000 I rating guy. He's going for a huge slider. Just expects the 25 to let him have it, I guess. Giving him basically no time to react to that. I mean, I guess it technically works. Which is the disappointing part, but... Pretty aggressive there to go for whatever place they're in. Sixth place, I guess. I think they were blaming the 25, but, I mean, the, the one really didn't leave him much choice heading to the checkered flag, parking himself right in front of him, but, I don't know. One of them is 9,000 I rating, I guess, so. <laughs> don't listen to me. Wow, that was a dirtbag move. Assuming that was on purpose. Wow. I hope the 24 protests the guy for that, because that seems very intentional. I mean, you could see the guy down there, and he turns down the track into the 24 to push him into it. I'm sure he's laughing maniacally at that. What an ass. Alright. Shout out to the 10 for being a big jerk. It's not like he was even going to lose the drag race to the line, either. Because I'm pretty sure the, uh... Where did they go? I don't know where they went. But, I mean, this happens here. The one's move takes out multiple people. Here it is, they're coming to the line. I mean... The 10 was going to beat, beat him in a drag race to the line. It was entirely unnecessary. So. That's pretty dumb. And uh, you know the 2's not happy with that, a 21st place finish. 25 will get across the line eventually. 18. Very nice win. Very impressive as the 18 car. In a very strong field well-earned celebration there for him and that is the last thing there is to see so <laughs> look at that p9 i don't know if we were p9 speed i think we saw pretty clearly we were about p28 speed but you know after our uh, early setback we avoided some other messes and kept kept at it and actually had a little bit of speed by the end of it kind of figured out uh, what i was able to do with the setup and it worked out pretty well so here are your official results right here. I'm going to bring up the page. And then we will wrap up with that. 39 I rating gained, just under 5,700 again. I'm just going up and down above and below that constantly. 5,403 straight the field. Very, very strong. And uh, there is your complete list. Me, P9. And, uh... Bunch of guys that got into wrecks down here. So that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Sorry it was a little bit sleepy. A little bit boring at the start. But uh, definitely picked up later. And we actually got ourselves a very nice finish. So it all worked out. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.